Hello everybody! Today I want to show you how to make a pink hanging flamingo. You could hang it in your bedroom or anywhere around the house to cheer the place up a bit. Uh, so if you'd like to join in with me I'll show you what you need to get started. To make your flamingo you will need some pink card, some pink paper, either one big um, sheet of A4 or you can use lots of smaller pieces, you need at least eight pieces of small pink paper. Some pink wool if you have it, otherwise string will be fine. Um, I'm using paper clips um, for its feet, but if you have beads or buttons these would be great. Um, some scissors, a pencil and a black pen. And also a template, which you can either draw yourself or you can download from Edmodo. I'm going to start by making the circles from pink paper for the body. And now I have eight small pieces of pink paper here, but you could use one big piece of pink paper and draw eight circles. But I've got eight in a pile here, which means I need to draw around my circle once. I'm using a jar lid, you could use a small cup or a small glass to draw around to make a nice neat circle. I'll draw around it with a pencil. There we are. It's my circle. And the nice thing about having the paper in a pile means I just need to cut it out once. But of course if you've drawn eight circles you can cut out eight circles. And it won't take you too much longer. I quite like cutting out. And put this in the bin. Or paper recycling. And now I should have eight circles. Let's count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight circles. And the next thing I'm going to do with each circle is fold each one in half. So I'll show you. There. Now I have a semicircle, a half circle, and I'm going to do the same for each of these circles. Now I have eight semicircles, eight half circles, and we're going to start to use them to make the body. So I'm going to need my glue and carefully so that you don't get glue on the table. It might be a good idea actually to put a tissue underneath or some paper so that you don't get the table all gluey. Is put glue on one half of the circle. So just on one side like this and I'm going to take another one and put it on top. So now I have two stuck together. I'm going to put the glue on the top half again and take another circle and stick it on top. And I'm going to keep going until all eight semicircles are stuck on top of each other. There. Now they're all stuck together into one, but this is where the magic happens. If I gently pull apart the two ends it will come apart to show you your flamingo's body like this there we are you can see it goes all the way around but I'm not going to stick it together just yet because first we want to stick the head and neck in so this is where you're going to need your flamingo template from card and some pink card and I'm going to draw around my flamingo head and neck and to cut it out trying to follow the lines as carefully as I can there we are now that looks a bit like a flamingo but to make it look really good I'm going to use a black pen to colour in its beak and put an eye just here there we are now my flamingo has an eye and a beak alright so we're going to start to put our flamingo together and I'm going to glue 
his body onto the one half of the semicircle just like this. I might cut it flat so that I don't have anything sticking out. I'm going to put glue all down this side and also on the middle here. I'll show you why in a minute. So put glue all over the last semicircle and also down the middle spine of your body. Alright, so I'm going to now I have glue here, I'm going to put the flamingo body at the top like this, making sure that it lines up with the spine. And before we <coughs> glue it together we want to put the legs in as well, which is where you need your pink string or wool, could be white. And you want it fairly long so that we've got enough for a hanging loop as well. I'm going to fold this in half, so I've got I'm going to cut quite a long length of string and fold it in half like this. Now, move this out of the way. I'm going to stick it down the spine, down the middle of the body of the semicircle. So you can see here. I've left a hanging loop at the top, so this is where the closed end is, and stuck it down the middle and left the two loose ends hanging. These are going to be its legs, flamingo's legs. Okay, it's going to put a little bit of extra glue to make sure that it stays. And then I'm going to fold my flamingo's body round to make it into that ball shape that I showed you earlier. Okay, you can arrange it so that it looks nice. You've got all of the semicircles spread out evenly. And look, we've almost finished. There's the hanging loop. And here is the flamingo's head. Now we just want to give our flamingo some feet. Now the best thing to use I think would probably be black beads or buttons, or you could even just tie the feet in a knot at the bottom. Um, I don't have any of those, so I'm going to use some white paper clips. Here we are two of these paper clips and I'm going to tie them onto the end of the legs to be feet as you can see in my finished one here. I'll just tie them on. is our hanging flamingo that you've made and you can hang it wherever you like maybe on a windowsill uh, on a window so that some people can see it or somewhere in your bedroom and um, I hope you enjoy them I hope you've enjoyed making flamingos with me thank you for watching and see you next time bye bye